The sound of overloaded tube amplifiers that hugely differ their structure is used in creating an extensive variety of proprietary sounds, especially by guitarists. The history of recreating the required sound of overloaded amplifiers based on various non-linear pre-amplifiers is quite long, and the overdrive effect remains to be one of the most popular ones. Overdrive is a sound effect achieved through distorting the signal by softly limiting the signal amplitude. It can also refer to the respective device. The nature of overdrive, just like that of a distortion, is based on one physical principle – amplitude signal limiting. In overdrive, this limiting is soft, which means that the top sinusoids are cut off with smooth roundings, rather than with a straight line like in the case of distortion. In such soft limiting, the limiting extent is inversely proportional to the level of the input signal. This is usually done by the parallel back-to-back -back connection of silicon diodes to the circuit inversely to the negative association of the operational amplifier. Used are also the germanium diodes and LEDs connected in parallel back-to-back and other than the operational amplifier. Thus, overdrive can be used to process the guitar signal stressing the dynamics of the sound. Depending on the strength of string hits, the distortion of the guitar signal would alter. Knowing this, one could easily tell which is an overdrive and which is distortion that affects the input signal irrespective of its level. Besides, the overdrive chain adds high frequencies to the sound due to its non-linearity, and such high frequencies need to be cut off to preserve a certain similarity of the resulting timbre with the timbre of the unprocessed signal, and to enable control over high frequencies in general.